yesterday, Israel, um, Iran attacked over the weekend, and it was a significant attack. Uh, yeah. You know that scene in War Games where it shows all these missiles yes. heading? Yeah. That's what it looked like. It was insane. 350 missiles. Uh, missiles, drones, all that. It was... Yeah. So, a significant attack. They're launching the missiles, some of them into space. We have video. Do we get the video in yet? Should. Um, of the... the What do they call this? The Sea Dome? I think this. They have the Iron Dome, and then they oh, have it. It's the arrow system. Watch this. Watch this. If you're watching the blaze, there. That is <laughs> fireworks. I feel like uh, I feel like a million voices uh, were all screaming, and then suddenly silenced. That is a hit in space, exoatmospheric. Wow. So that's the arrow system going up out of the atmosphere into space. And hitting a missile as it's starting to come back in. I mean, it, it's one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. And I think this is the first time it was ever captured on film, right? I think it's the first time it's seen. This was the third interception in space. But the other two were last year when the Houthis launched Iranian missiles against Israel. So just the weapon technology involved so this weekend is nuts. 99%, 99% of these missiles will tell you what was going on. But the, the biggest thing you need to know is we could have very easily uh, been in World War III today. Um, I think because of the uh, aero missile system, which is a joint project between us and Israel, um, that's that really truly saved the day. If these 300 missiles would have struck the ground, it would have been world war. Absolutely world war. Oh, if a quarter of these missiles yeah. actually got through. Yeah. This is, we're having a completely different conversation right yeah. now. Please tell us we have the aero system here. We, I, don't, I don't think we do. It, it's, Boeing what? was like the second half of the development of that, so it's also an American. We have dibs on it. Uh, we have our own system, a different system that is kind of pre-deployed on on naval ships all over the all over the world. So we do have the same capability, but that's the Aegis system. Yeah, so right? it's it's that's that, not that's not shooting things from in space. It, it is. It is. I, is it? I, I don't. Yeah, I don't remember. There's two parts of it. I don't remember the second part of it. Because the Aegis same system capability. on ships is just a buttload of bullets coming out. I mean, it's just uh, it's, it's just round after round of. Big butt bu bullets. Yeah, it's it's called a BLB, a uh, buttload of bullets. Yes. That's what we call it, yeah. you know, yeah, in yeah, the military yeah, yeah. terminology. Right, but sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it was more than just the aero system. So this is what's so amazing. You, you try to to really get the scope of this, you have to look at this graphic the IDF um, submitted of where all this all all, all this uh, ordinance was coming from. Mm -hmm. Yemen. Iraq, Iran, Lebanon, all converging on multiple different fronts, all down on Israel. But they have a three-pronged uh, system. The, the The further one out is the Arrow 2 and Arrow 3 system. which That's can, one shoot in space. That's the one can reach up and touch you in space. The second one is called David Sling. Uh, that shoots lower. Yeah, I know. They, they have such cooler names I know, than ours do. does. Do. Um, that shoots like cruise missiles or like missiles that are flying low to the ground. Mm -hmm. Then you have the Iron Dome, which everyone is talking about. All of those things were firing all at once going on over the weekend. But you also had Israeli planes going up and firing on cruise missiles way the heck out there. Then you had U.S. planes and planes from the U.K. All of this converging in the skies over the Middle East over the weekend. So is it that Iran's missiles suck so much? Or is this as amazing as it sounds? It's as amazing as it sounds. So, I mean, cruise, these are, these are, these are current generation weaponry that we're talking about. Iran is exporting some of this weaponry, giving it to Russia so Russia can attack Ukraine. So th this is amazing. 99% you know, success rate does not happen. It, it doesn't. So, I mean, granted, there's, you know, great technology here, but I think there's some God work going on as well. I was going to well. say, isn't there, there scriptures when uh, the whole world comes to attack that it is that God just protects, puts like a dome over, no. over Israel? It was so effective that I think that Iran probably is rethinking some of their first strike strategy against Israel. Now, you know that they've all gamed this out, and I'm sure part of this atta attack was that that goes into their plans. Like, they know that they want to take out Israel. If they had to, what do they need? 
Well, they threw everything but the Ayatollah's kitchen sink at Israel over the weekend. I think I was flying. I think I saw that hit the ground. The, the, kitchen, that was the sink. kitchen sink. They yeah. probably use that too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With the disposal, which is weird. <laughs> um, so, uh, so if you would have had one of these nuclear tipped, it, I mean, so you, so all of that work for a nuclear weapon, you ain't going to deposit it through a missile, right? Wouldn't that be the message that Iran would get? You're not now. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, I don't, I, I don't, th this set Iran back, I'm sure, like probably several years as far as whatever their eventual goal is. And that right there is the problem because we know that they're not going to stop. No. So when you're saying, uh, you know, when everyone's like pleading with her, when Biden was pleading with uh, BB over the weekend to don't uh, retaliate, on one hand, I'm like, yeah, because I don't want to see the Middle East completely change overnight. And it's not just that. But it's it, not if, just that. If they retaliate, Iran has the ability to set Europe and America on fire in the streets. Yeah. And that's only a matter of time before it happens. But I, I don't know. I'd like to delay it as long as possible. Yeah, but if you're Israel, I mean, you're going, guys. Like, guys, we've just the, look at the overall picture here. Right, they're surrounding them. Look at that. Look at that graphic of where all the missiles were coming from. Israel is surrounded. The strategy now, the international community is like, Israel, just keep your walls. Just keep your walls up, and you'll be safe. When has that ever worked in military history? Never. Con Constantinople, Greece, um, Troy. Pick your time. Your walls are an illusion. They will keep you safe for a limited amount of time, but the eventual goal of an invading army is to topple those walls. That's Iran's plan. So how long do you delay? I mean, and, and if they decide that and if Iran says, okay, we're not delaying anymore, that is when the entire region changes forever. They've been playing this little proxy game for 40 years. This the is time the is first coming. time, though, that they have... Not years. used a proxy. Exactly. Right? Yep. They're not used. Mm -hmm. they, it was it was a RAN. No proxy. It was a RAN. Yeah. Um, and so I, I saw, and I honestly, I thank God that we are pausing, at least. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, because this will escalate into a world war that fast. I, I just, everything in me says, once the Middle East is set on fire... Russia and Ukraine and everything else, it's just going to be just dominoes. Um, because if the Middle East is on fire and Iran is losing, which they would, uh, they're just setting all of our countries on fire, yeah. you know, internally. Um, so I, I'm, I was glad to see the pause. However, I was a little disturbed that the news came out from the White House because that should have come out from the prime minister's office in Israel. But instead, Joe Biden calls Bibi Netanyahu, who apparently the war ministry all voted to retaliate. And then Joe Biden called and said, hey, uh, we won't support you. Don't don't do it. Don't retaliate. That's what the White House is saying. And so Bibi changed his mind. Well, uh, gee, thanks for backing me into a corner. I mean, it might be a corner I like to be in, but that's not the way you deal with an ally, is it? <laughs> no. Yeah. How they're dealing with this all across the board is not right. what you're supposed to do. This attack happened, and I 100% believe this. This attack happened because of the Biden administration's overall foreign policy within the Middle East. When you, <laughs> you think? When, when, you, when you refuse to stand up to their proxy, Hamas, when you coddle them as they have, things like this happen. When... You give billions of dollars back to Iran when you try to go back into the JCPOA, the nuclear agreement with them, when you are doing everything possible to say, let's play nice, let's play nice. When you refuse to stand up to a bully, this is the kind of crap that happens. And I'm not saying that we go off and militarily attack them. There is a formula for dealing with this. It was actually working. The Abraham Accords was working. Yes. When you abandon that, this is the type of crap that happens. But if you could have the possibility of getting... Trump back in and quelling all of this. I just I just want to make it to, you know, January in case he wins. If he doesn't win, it's I mean, we're just going to keep seeing more and more of this because you're right. It is our policies. We are weak. Um, we don't command any respect. And honestly, we're on the other side.
we're giving money to Iran. Mm -hmm. So our tax dollars went to Iran and to Israel. So you can feel good on April 15th today (laughs) that you paid for both sides of this. What do you guys make of the really strange way this all unfolded where it was like, hey, drones are going to be there in a few hours. They're all coming. I think that is, that's, that is in war. And correct me if I'm wrong, Jason, you would know more than, than I would. But I think that was the signal from Iran. Hey. We're going to do this. Right. We're going to, because uh, otherwise you surprise. You're right. like, hey, mm-hmm. surprise. But they let <laughs> they Israel. Telegraphed it. Yes. They telegraphed it. Let Israel know, prepare your people for this, and then we're going to stop. Mm-hmm. And that gives that gives the uh, Israelis an opportunity to say, okay, well, we stopped you. Now don't do it again. Right. Because then, then, then their statement right play. after was like, hey, by the way, that's the end of this. Yeah. We just, so Correct. you guys know that's all we're doing. We now feel the matter is settled. Correct. Is it concluded? Concluded, yeah. yeah. I mean, so they're trying to say basically, hey, to our people, we did something. And then to Israel, hey, we told you it was coming. You blocked it all. Let's just call this, call it a draw. Now, of course, Israel, of course, gets the win here, right? They they wiped out important military uh, of, officials and and people they really wanted to target in Syria, uh, and they stopped the entire attack from Iran. I mean, it's a massive escalation. There's no way of denying that. But like, maybe there's a chance for us to avoid a real uh, inflammation of the I think entire we region. Did. I think we did. You think it's over? You, th- you don't think? Uh, no. I, I mean, Netanyahu's no, 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 no. been saying it's for go back years. To terror. It's going to go back to terror now. The but, missiles, I think, are over. I mean, Netanyahu has been saying for years he wants to basically go right after R- Iran directly, believes it's, they're doing all this. He's been wanting this. Well, ex- they this. are the head of the snake. They are the problem. It's true. It's all up to Israel's response now. Right. And, and, and their but, perspective so you don't is completely believe, different from ours. So you don't believe that they are finished? Well, because <laughs> I mean, according to the White House. Yeah, well, I, they're done. I, I think that's what Israel is juggling right now because they, it was hev- it was heavily telegraphed. They even told Iran told Turkey that they were going to to do this attack, and then Turkey, you know, okay. transmitted that to us. Let me take a quick break, mm-hmm. and then we're going to come back because I I want to look at this uh, from the Israeli point of view. I'm glad that they're stopped, but if I'm an Israeli, I'm like, go get them now. They've just they've just blown everything that they have. Most likely, let's go get them while they're weak. We could overthrow them.